Welcome back everyone for a new game review. Of course this is Goku Sun DBZ and this is the review for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And the music in the background I also chose from Grand Blue. The theme of Beelzebub. Now what are my overall opinions? I'll just try to give you a reasonably short and fast review with that said. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is indeed a great new masterpiece by, of course, Arc System Works. In my opinion, Arc System Works did an incredible job on this game. It is gorgeous to look at. The cell shade art style, the movement, the designs of the characters, and it really feels like a RPG. And to be fair, technically, it was a mobile RPG first, as just Grand Blue Fantasy. But with that said, Fancy Versus, how is it? Well, I can honestly say, and you can expect more gameplay over time from the game, but I will say, gameplay-wise, the game is a lot of fun. I love the over-the-top specials. I love the over-the-top characters, and I like the soundtrack also. is incredible. I especially like Beelzebub's music quite a bit. And, by the way, he is probably my main in the game. I just love his play style the most, overall. There are definitely some other characters I've come to really like in the game. I would say of other characters I really like other than Beelzebub. Uh, Gran is quite a bit of fun. I like Lancelot quite a bit. Katarina, I like her play style and also her knight design. I love that quite a bit. But... With that said, I also really like some, like one of the wrestler characters, just really cool. But is easily, in my opinion, the most stunning looking fighting game of the past decade. It is gorgeous looking. I would put it up there, dare I say, with games like Vampire Savior of gorgeous looking art style. I've played other great anime fighters that have looked great, like uh, Dragon Ball Fighters looks really beautiful, honestly. But Grand Blue Fantasy Versus takes the art style to the next level. The combat system, I like the fact that it's a much more uh, easier to get the hang of a lot of the basics. You can't do super long stretch combos, but even though the basic combos are relatively only three or four hits, you can, however, figure out ways to customize and create your own, like, extended combos through using other moves and other combos to figure out how to turn one combo into another one to extend your combos. And that is where, really, I think the genius of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus actually comes into play, is the simplistic design of the base mechanics, plus the auto combos, are good for a lot of people to get the basics down for the game and I will say though you're not going to be able to completely make it through this game with just mashing buttons. That is one trait in most Arc System Work games. You can't just survive strictly on button mashing. With that said, I will say I like that they made it a little bit more simple on the basics to make it more appealing to more casual type fans, more casual fighting game fans. And that's a good thing. If you want to get more people to play the game, it can't be super complex just at the basic level. That's one of the great things about Unist or Under Nine Birth because some of the basics are relatively simple concepts in gameplay, but it gets much more complex. I would say Under Night and Birth is at the same level as Guilty Gear and complexity to gameplay. But Grand Blue definitely, I think, has a lot better elements overall to definitely appeal more to other gamers that maybe not normally play anime fighting games and stuff. And I think this is a great introduction to anime fighting games and a great introduction to also Arc System Works. Now, I will say... Under Nine Birth will always probably be my favorite Arc System Works game series. Though I'd say Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is maybe my number two favorite Arc System Works game. But 
the music is great, the art style is great, the backgrounds are gorgeous. Everything about this game just is appealing. I love the super bright colors. I love the variety of different like personalities of the different characters in the game. I really appreciate that. And I love that feels like a fantasy adventure epic quest type thing. And the fact it has an RPG mode in the game as well. Though it plays more like an arcade beat-em-up in many ways than an actual RPG. But you do have like stat augmentation and stuff a lot of leveling up and stat changes and abilities like many RPG games and I think that's great that's a great thing to get I think even like RPG fans to maybe check and buy Grand Blue Fantasy versus if they don't normally play fine games that's a good way to get them into the game by offering the RPG mode to it that's actually genius in my opinion offering a much better variety of different gameplay modes and options. I think that's good. That is really where Grand Blue Fantasy Versus actually excels, is offering variety of playstyles and variety of different elements to it than most of your standard fighting games. So I have to give an extra um, a big thumbs up offering these many different elements to it, which makes an overall better quality playing experience in my opinion anyways. And, with that said, also, how's the netcode in the game? The netcode, I will say, is about 50-50. But, it just depends on the person, I guess you could say. But anyways, I'll get ready to cut this video. But I will say, the netcode is 50-50%. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the connection of your opponent basically sadly they don't use um, better net code I will say uh, to be fair though I actually think the net code is maybe a bit better than King of Fighters 14's net code and it didn't have the greatest net code but I that's something though I think from what I've understood they've worked a lot of the glitch issues out from this and other Arc System War games and stuff, and apparently the new Guilty Gear, they've chosen to upgrade and do better netcode. So that's good. Since you have a lot of issues between, though I think rollback netcode is probably the best to go with overall. That's what uh, Infinite did, and that's what other great games have done with netcode. Like, uh, for instance, Mortal Kombat 11 has really solid netcode overall. MKX has good, overall has definitely improved. Uh, Killer Instinct, though, in my opinion, is probably the definitive netcode. But with that said, I'll get ready to cut this video. I hope everyone stays safe out there. And this was my review for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on the PlayStation 4. Have you picked up the game? Have you played it? If not, are you thinking about getting it? But with that said, please leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. You can follow me at twitter.com slash gokusundbz. I'll see you all soon enough.